I, I happen to believe, and I think I have a lot of evidence that Ohio has produced some of the dopest Christian rap, Christian hip hop artists. Um, I, and I would stack up Ohio's roster to anybody, to any to any state's roster. And I don't, I don't, I don't think it's close. Maybe you guys can um, kind of do some. I was, I was gonna say it's not close. And that's it's, not me like talking trash. Like it's legit not close. Like the I would say second is probably Philly. Oh yeah, Philly. Yeah, I would say Philly is second, but I don't think Philly's close. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think so either. I don't think so either. But um, we'll let them battle that out in the comments section. So <laughs> this is my this is my top five, and it leans Cincinnati because that's okay. Sure, it leans sure, Cincinnati. sure. My, mine is um, super Columbus, so that makes sense. And I, and, and I got a shout out. I got to shout out my big bro because um, he was involved in a record label here in Cincinnati called Forever in Christ Music. And um, they uh, I was in and around that whole culture. So I, mm -hmm. I, I got to, to see a whole lot and be around a whole lot of it. So mm -hmm. I'm stalling. Let's go ahead and get to our top five. Let's so do it. Let's do it. For Ohio, I'm going to start the point guard because I'm a point guard. My point guard has to be swoop. Just because, like, the point guard is the extension of the coach. He yep. can he can do it all. He knows where everybody's supposed to be on the court at all times. Yep. And I feel like that's what that's that's what Swoop is. Yeah, I feel like he is. Um, I feel like he is the, the ultimate point guard. At my two guard slot, I have K Drama. Okay, K Drama. He's been around for for a long time. He went to my rival high school. He's a few years younger than me, so we we literally came up at the same time. I remember him passing out cassette tapes and all that good stuff mm -hmm. back in high school. So uh so shout out to K Drama. He's been um putting up shots for a long time. That's why I have him at my shooting guard. Yep. Uh number 3 at my 3 small forward position. They have Taylor Gray. I have Taylor Gray just because his discography, and we talked about it for a brief second. We don't have all day to talk about it, but his discography is is it's amazing. Yeah, we'll just say sure. that it, it, he has an amazing discography. Yeah, uh, at the four position, I have D Mob. Yeah, I have my I got my uh, my god brother D Mob. Um, man, he's like. He had a he had a run where he was just like on everybody's stuff, like the early 2010, somewhere around there. Um, so D Mob. Uh, is is one of my favorite was one of my favorite rappers out of Ohio, and then at the five, I got you. I've I, I slid you in at the five spot because what does your five have to do? He has to anchor down the post. He's got to get all the rebounds. With people yep. coming in with some weak stuff, he gonna block that up out of there. He commands yep. the paint. So yep. I feel like that's uh, that's what you bring to my starting five. So that's my starting five from Ohio. What you think? I'm honored. I love it. I love it. You know, it's one of those things where like, you know, like the certain era mm -hmm. <laughs> that you come up in, you came oh, up yeah, in. Oh exactly. yeah, you know exactly. Exactly. Like, yeah, that, that was, that was the time. And that was a real big, you know, I, like I said, I moved to Ohio in 2008. So I, I, I just missed uh, a, gotcha. um, it was almost like a, like a Renaissance or a revolution of Christian hip hop. Um, back then it was still called Holy hip hop for sure. Um, <laughs> and the Holy hip hop, like awards or something was in Atlanta or something like that. Them, yeah. 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 My sister and you know, some of her people went there and yeah, that was like my intro. That was my intro. Not that wasn't my introduction, but that was my introduction to more of like a, like more centralized. Right. I I'd had an earlier introduction with some, some of the, like the bigger artists, but um, yeah, it's a good list, man. Good All list. Right. Good appreciate list. It, appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, I'm gonna quickly go through my five because I actually have a second unit as well because we just that deep. Ooh. Um, so starting at the point guard, I'm with you. I got Swoop. Um, Swoop can do everything. Yep. Um, and you need that. Uh, shooting guard, shooting guard. I have his brother. I have Kristen Gray. Ooh, um, that Chris is, and Chris is. If I'm hearing, if 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 I'm hearing what I'm hearing, like. Chris is Chris is he's he he's loading up he's tooling up he really he's ready is. to come back in a in a big big way um I'm taking care of some it. legal stuff some legal stuff with his music and yeah he's he's getting ready to tool up so Chris can do everything yep. Chris is the guy Chris is is amazing Chris can sing and play instruments and rap and produce and arrange <laughs> he do he can do everything you know what I'm literally saying? So, everything yeah so Chris he can create his own shot but also like he can get open too yep, um. Yep. At the small forward, I actually have Jonathan Baker at my three because okay. Jonathan Baker is another guy. He can play all five positions on the on the floor. 
Yeah. Um, he can he can take the ball up court if he needs to. Yep. He can be a player coach. He can sit on the bench and like observe the game and tell you what you need to do. Mm-hmm. He can rap, he can sing, he can produce. And I really do believe that the world has not experienced the fullness of what Jonathan Baker has to offer. He is incredible. Um, you, and then again, one of the one of the best dudes that I, I've met in the space. Gotcha. Quick side note: the very first time I heard you was on Jonathan Baker's project. There you go. Glass Heart too. That see, and that was one of the records that I was going I was going to mention. Um, you know, that was me. That's me, Taylor, Jonathan Baker, and Sean C. Johnson on Ooh, the hook. Sean C. Johnson's shout out to that course. Shout out to Sean. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's there's that at the four. Okay. I have my favorite. My favorite Christian rapper of all time, but that also bleeds into like my, one of my favorite rappers ever, period. Like, I don't like to separate the two. If you're nice, okay. you're nice. I got Cambino at the four. Cambino. Cam, because Cam will beat you up. Cam will get in the paint. He'll get dirty. <laughs> like, he'll do whatever it takes to win. You know what I'm saying? He may not, yeah. he may not get you. He's like a Dennis Rodman. He may not get you the numbers. He'll have zero points, but he'll, he'll have 25 rebounds. <laughs> and he'll impact the game in a really ugly way. People don't want to play with him. They want nope. him as a teammate. They do not want him as an opponent. Yeah. You want to you want to be on a record with Cam. You want to be on his good side. You do not want to be on the other side of Cam. Yeah, I felt like I was I might have been at Swoop's release party for Wake Up. It might have been Wake mm-hmm. Up. Yeah. And Cambino was on. I think he had a I think on one of the songs, I think Ishan is on that song, but Ishan couldn't be there. So Cambino uh Dream Slave. Yeah, Cambino's and verse. That, I was, I was like, verse is incredible. Yes. Is that anywhere? Can I find that anywhere? It's literally on you. It's just on YouTube. Look, high school, college, majored in astronomy, failed in economics, and failing at autonomy. Splurge every urge he succumbs to. Daydreams to nightmares. It's like he never comes to. Wishing he could backspace for me to even undo. They made it. They made an official video for it. Oh, they like, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's okay. got like like real. I'm yeah, so that's 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 where that is. Um, but yeah, not on streaming. Got um, it. and then at the five, yeah, I got Taylor. I got Taylor at the five because Taylor, Taylor is an anchor for all of us. Taylor is one of those people where like you got to like sit in a room with Taylor and like he's gonna help you talk through and find language for like your stuff. And he's Mm -hmm. going to like, he's a pastor's pastor, right? So he's got the, he's got the creative hippity hop, rapidity rap edge, but at at the same time, he's able to speak to you and affirm you in the way that a a pastor would and challenge you as well. And everybody, just the city period, not just the Christian space or the church space, the city respects him. So, you know, that, that matters. So that's my five. And then very quickly coming off the bench, mm-hmm. I got Yavis coming off the bench. Some of y'all know him as Street Pastor, yep. just OG legend in Columbus. Definitely got him coming off the bench. I got my man Priest coming off the bench. Uh, another oh. OG legend in the space. Still insanely talented. Insanely talented is still the fullness of what he has to offer. Is just not, it hasn't been seen yet. Um, and then I got Kayla Montgomery coming off the bench as well. I don't oh, know if you guys are familiar with Caleb is super, super, super nice. Um, definitely mm. check him out. He was he was on Black Jordan's White Sox too, but he's got his own he's got his own music. Shout out to Joe Cooper. He's been working with, but Caleb's super nice. And then I got Bink coming off the bench as well. Right. Bink is she's I tell her all the time she's the goat. She's the goat. Jeez. She can literally she can do anything and she does everything. And uh, she's she's gearing up too. She got some stuff on the way too. Okay. Okay. Thanks for the reminder. I always, he's one of those artists where like, whenever I hear him, it's like, Oh snap, I gotta, I gotta make sure I dig in. But, um, yeah. having yeah. to listen to so much, I always forget, but yeah. man, thank you for that. Incredible. Yeah. She put out a, she put out an EP in 2020 called, uh, dang, hold on, hold on, hold on. You might have to cut this part out while I'm looking for it. It is called blue skies. Blue skies okay. EP is only on Bandcamp, but it is incredible. And it is a great, um display of all of her creativity she's super nice super nice 